let's summarize what can happen when we take the limit of a quotient. So we're going to take the limit as x approaches something of one function divided by another function. And we'll look at a number of cases. First, if f approaches some finite number and g approaches a finite number that isn't zero, then we can just use our quotient rule. The limit is the limit of the numerator over the limit of the denominator. If f approach f lowercase f of x approaches a non zero finite number, but g of x approaches zero, this limit explodes. The one-sided limits are either infinity or negative infinity. Yeah. The only remaining case where everything here is finite would be the case where the numerator and the denominator both approach is zero. And that is what is called indeterminate. And it's called indeterminate because it doesn't give you enough information to say what the limit is. The limit might exist, it might not exist. If the limit does exist, who can say what it is? you have to somehow investigate it. What if one or both of these limits is going to infinity? Well, if the numerator is going to infinity and the denominator is going to a finite number, including zero, then this quotient is going to infinity. If the numerator is going to a finite number, but the denominator is going to infinity. This quotient is going to zero. If the numerator is going to infinity and the denominator is also going to infinity, That's another indeterminate form. And we're not going to do a lot with these indeterminate forms for now. We'll come back to this later in the, well, not even later in this course. We'll come back to this later in the calculus sequence in Calc to this too, when we'll finally learn a powerful trick for investigating these indeterminate forms.